Good afternoon, welcome back to my channel. If you guys can tell the title, we are getting ready for my maternity shoot. Crazy. So on the agenda for today, I have an OB appointment. So I figured I would take you guys along with me. I'm a little bit behind schedule for my testing and like just doctor's appointment in general because we've had a couple snow days in Texas. So I missed like two appointments. So I'm playing catch up right now and I have to take my diabetes test today. Usually I think you take it in between like 26, 28 weeks. So I'm a little bit late, but it's okay. So I pulled out the directions this morning. My appointment's not for like another two and a half hours, but I just want to make sure that I know what I'm supposed to do. I guess it just says drink this 30 minutes prior to your appointment. So, hey Siri. Set an alarm. Set an alarm for 2.50. Your alarm is set for 2.50 p.m. Okay. I need to take my prenatals. Boom! Thank you to Care Of for partnering with me on today's video. Care Of makes it easy to stay on track with your health goals by shipping high-quality, personalized vitamins, supplements, and powders conveniently to your door every month. And I personally love their daily packets because it makes it easy and convenient for me to remember to take my essential vitamins during my pregnancy like my prenatals, cranberry, vitamin C, fish oil, calcium plus, and probiotic blend, which makes reaching and maintaining my health goals a breeze. You can go to TakeCareOf.com to take a short in-depth quiz about your health goals and lifestyles and get personally tailored recommendations based on your answers. And to save 50% off your first order, go to TakeCareOf.com and enter code McKennaWalker50. Again, thank you to Care Of for partnering with me on today's video and I will have all of the links in my description box below. Well, my OB appointment is the only thing that I have to do today. Tomorrow is really our busy day. If you guys can't tell by my parents, I look a mess like, look how many eyelashes I have. Barely any. Look at my nails. Look at my nails. <laughs> my nails look so bad. But it's because I wanted to film this video, so I skipped my appointments last week and rescheduled them for this week and well because I'm getting my pictures done or whatever so it just made more sense for me to just wait a week and not get my nails and my lashes filled and get it all done right before my photo shoot. So we have a nail appointment tomorrow, pedicure as well. My toes don't really need to be done but I'm going to switch them anyways and get them done. Yeah and then we have a lash appointment and then once we get to Houston because I didn't even tell you guys, I don't think I told you guys that but our pictures are in Houston, so we have to go out of town because the girl I wanted to go to is in Houston. We're going to drive with the kids on Sunday morning, get to Houston, check into our Airbnb. As soon as we get to our Airbnb, I'm getting my hair done. I have two hair looks that I want to have for my shoot. So we have two photo shoots on separate days. We have one on Monday and we have one on Tuesday. So we're getting there on Sunday, checking into our Airbnb at 4 o'clock. I'm getting a braided ponytail because... That's gonna go with the theme of the first shoot. I'm trying not to like over explain because I know I'm talking a lot and you guys will see it in the video, but I'm getting a braided ponytail for that shoot and then I have to come home after that shoot or go back to the Airbnb, take that hair down, wash my hair, straighten my hair, put in my extensions, and have like a new hairstyle. So yeah, basically that's the agenda. It's gonna be, this is gonna be probably a long a long vlog, a long process, but I figured I would take you guys along with me because I usually take you guys along with me for my maintenance anyways, so why not get ready with me for my This ring here represents my heart But there's just one thing I need from you Say I do Because I can see us holding hands Walking on the beach, our toes in the sand I can see us on the countryside Sitting on the grassland side by side You could be my baby Let me make you my baby Girl, you amaze me 
ain't gotta do nothing crazy. See, all I want you to do is be my love. So don't give away my love. So don't give away my love. It's not hard, though. Oh, I love Good morning. Oh. Hey, Mom. I need some oranges. We're about to go get donuts. You want donuts or not? Good morning. I'm trying to look around the house so fast before we leave so I can make a list of everything that we need. So Yesterday, you guys saw me go to my LB appointment, and now it's the next morning. It's Friday morning, so it's my morning to take the kids to school, and I usually get them donuts, so that's what we're about to do. And then we're probably going to head to Starbucks, get myself something, and then we're going to head to Target, do a little bit of shopping for the trip. And then we have our nail appointment at 12, and lash appointment at 3. I'm trying to debate if I want to go to the mall or not, too, but I think Target should suffice. I don't think there's anything that I really need from the mall, and I don't want to go to the mall by myself. So. Good morning. Good morning. Can I have um, four kolaches and a dozen donut holes? Okay. Is that all for you? Mm -hmm. Oh, sorry. Can I have two chocolate milks? Huh? Can I have two chocolate milks? Two chocolate milk? Yeah. Can I have an extra bag? Huh? An extra bag? Huh? A bag. Oh, extra bag? <laughs> Thank you. An extra bag, please. Thank you. Have a good day. Most. That's the most convenient thing ever. I drive through donut shop. But we went to the donut shop. We had some fun. There's barely a line at Starbucks. Granted, it is almost 9 o'clock. We had a very late start to the morning. My kids slept in. Can you believe it? They were up kind of late getting their hair cut last night, so they didn't go to sleep till like 9. But, <clears throat> or 9.30. But yeah, what's my OB appointment? I didn't end up taking my camera, and it was nothing like he literally measured my belly, listened to the heartbeat, and it's like two seconds, like it's so quick, and I got my blood drawn. For my glucose test and that was it and then um we left we went to pick up the kids came home and then a little while later the kids got their hair cut the uh, guy came to cut all of their hair and then that was it so this morning <sighs> i was really tired it's really hard for me to get out of bed these days these mornings all the mornings really okay it's my turn let me try to order my good morning welcome to starbucks can i get started for you today hi can i have an iced matcha latte with vanilla sweet cream cold foam? i'm sorry darling repeat the drink one more time can i have an iced matcha with um sweet cream cold foam? and what size was it tall Ooh, I'm so it's a tall ice matcha with light ice and vanilla sweet cream foam. Yes. What else for you today? Can I have the turkey bacon sandwich? I do have the turkey bacon today. And what else for you, darling? That's all. Would you like a straw? Yes, please. Thank you. Take care today, and I'll see you next time. You too. Thanks. He's so sweet. I see him every single time I come here. Okay, anyways, do I remember what I was talking about? Absolutely not. Today, like I said, we're going to Target really fast. Like, they make the sandwiches so hot you can't even eat them. Dang. I have to let it cool down. 
about to go to Tar J. Because we just need to get a couple of things for the trip. First, we're going to drive by Bye Bye Baby because it says grand opening. So I don't know if that means it's open or if there's like a date on it as to when they're opening. Because I seen that they were putting this up a couple months ago and I was like, perfect timing. Like I'm about to have a baby and there's going to be a Bye Bye Baby like so close to me. I'm so excited. I'm about to drive up by the door and see. Grand opening. Oh, they're fucking open. You're lying. You're fucking lying. Sorry. I got really excited. We're going to Bye Bye Baby. <laughs> I'm telling y'all, like, okay, first of all, I'm just gonna stop in and look. I'm not gonna get anything unless I see something just so irresistible. Cause we're gonna take a whole day and like go shopping. We have nothing for the baby. Like a few things. And we don't know the gender so it's kinda like everything that we get for when we first come home is gonna be like white onesies, gender neutral stuff. So like I haven't bought clothes or anything. I feel like, I don't want to say I'm unprepared, but I'm definitely creeping on further along and I still haven't gotten anything. With Carson, it was easy because we had all the stuff from Carter still because I knew I wanted to have another baby. And with Carter, I was a first time mom, so I was just like buying everything, you know? But this time I feel like I'm a little bit behind. But I'm so excited. Okay, we're about to go in. I'm extremely embarrassed. They don't open till 10 o'clock and it's nine. So I like literally like walked up to the door and was like, like my nose almost touched the door. Like I thought it was gonna open, you know, automatic doors. It did not open, but all the lights were on and I see people walking around in there, but it's fine. It's fine, I'm just gonna go to Target. I'm not gonna go to Bye Bye Baby today, but okay, let's go. so from Millie Moon. These are my new favorite. I've been using these instead of the water wipes. They're less expensive and I like them better actually. So that's the one thing that I do need to start stocking up on is baby wipes and diapers, which I also haven't done. So I should probably do that. But I got this non-alcoholic wine by Stella Rosa. My favorite thing to do when I'm not pregnant is drink wine. So, not my favorite thing to do, but I love me some Stella Rosa. So, 
I got the non-alcoholic one and then I was gonna get the one with alcohol in it for Aaron so we could drink it together because that's what we that's that's what we did before I got pregnant. We drank like a whole bunch of wine. <laughs> I got the black and then I got these Tate's chocolate chip cookies. I'm obsessed. Oh, I accidentally got walnut. Hopefully they're still good. Obsessed with those, but I'm gonna take both of those with us out of town, so I'm gonna leave them down here. Same with the kids stuff. Got them fruit snacks. The road. We got them these Spider-Man apple juices. Cause we're gonna need stuff for the way there and the way back. So and then I got some Mickey Mouse, goldfish. Gotta get two of each, two of everything, so they can have their own bag. I have a pajama addiction because I don't get real clothes. I'm also like don't want to buy anything because I'm about to be postpartum so I feel like it would be dumb for me to buy a whole bunch of stuff that is not going to fit me once I drop the baby. So I've been like addicted to pajamas and Target always has the cutest one. So I got this blue one, it's a short sleeve and I got the matching pants. I get everything in a size medium. Um, just because I feel like medium is my safe space, like when I'm not pregnant, I'll be a small, but a medium will still fit, if that makes sense. It'll just be a little bit big. And then I got a little matching sports bra to go underneath it because well, why not? I'm gonna take the pajamas with me too. I'm gonna go upstairs and pack up all of our laundry to send it out so that it can get delivered tomorrow before we leave out of town on Sunday. Because I usually send it out on Saturday and then we get it back on Sunday, but since we're not gonna be here, I need to send the laundry out today. So I'm gonna go bag it up and finish up some work and then we're gonna have to go to
lashes done. Bad bitch reactivated. It's literally been so long since I had my lashes done. And I think it's gonna be, hold on, let me turn the air down. Let's start over. Lashes are done. Whew! So that's pretty much all the maintenance that I was gonna get done in Dallas. I don't, I'm not getting anything else done here. My hair and my makeup is all gonna be done when I get to Houston, cause that's where the photo shoot is. So I will see you guys tomorrow when I start packing. And then once I, as soon as we like touch down in Houston, I'll be getting my hair done and stuff. So I'll see you guys later. Good morning, you guys. It is Sunday and we can ready to leave. We leave in a couple hours. It's currently almost 8.30. I just got out of the shower. I need to blow dry my hair. <sighs> so I'm gonna wrap it up in this towel while I like wash my face and brush my teeth so we can absorb some of the water. But yeah, yesterday was a complete and utter hot mess. I'm gonna be talking to y'all while I get ready too because we got to leave in a couple hours and I still have to like little stuff I need to do. But yesterday was literally a complete hot mess because <sighs> so I sent the laundry out, right, to get it done. And the guy at the last minute was like, oh, hey, sorry, I'm having car trouble. Your delivery is going to be pushed back to Sunday. And I was like, unfortunately not, because <laughs> like he wasn't asking me, he was telling me and I was like, um, I'm going out of town, so I actually like need my clothes. So like, I'm gonna have to figure that out. So like, <clears throat> I was getting all, not like, let me brush my teeth really fast. Okay, so anyway, so like I was saying, the guy was like, yeah, your laundry, my car's having trouble. I can't help get to you. I'm like, okay. And like, mind you, I try not to be like rude or, you know, nothing, but I was just like, okay, so, you know, let's figure this out. I was like, I can come pick it up from you. And at first he was kind of like, they didn't want to like, let me pick it up. And he was like, well, I'll let you know. And I'm like, okay. But he was like, the clothes are not washed. And like, back in my head, I'm thinking like, you had them since yesterday. That was the only reason why I was really mad. Like, I, I wasn't even like mad, but I mean... I was just getting like stressed because like we're about to go out of town and like you have all my dirty clothes that I need to wash to go out of town, right? So anyways, he was like, <clears throat> okay, well, I'm gonna let you know by one o'clock. If not, then I'll send you like my address. You can come pick it up. Okay. So then he texted me at one o'clock and was like, oh, on my way to drop off the clothes. I'm laundered, right? So the whole time I'm talking to Aaron, I'm like, I don't know what to do. I'm going to take a nap because if I don't take a nap, you know, what does that take for us? Like, uh, I'm gonna let God handle it because if I handle it, I'm gonna go to jail. I, I was just like, I was just getting like very overwhelmed because I don't, I'm a planner. And like, he was like, oh, well, I'll just let you know. And I'm like, um, he was an hour away from me. So I'm like, I kind of need to know like what's going on. Anyways, fast forward, he, one o'clock, he's like, oh, I'm on my way. I'm like, okay. And then he turns around in the middle of my nap and was like, no, my bad, I gotta go back to the car dealership. <laughs> he was like, no, I gotta go back to the car place because my car is still messed up. I was like, God damn. <laughs> I thought it was gonna be some light at the end of the tunnel. So I'm talking to Aaron, Aaron was like, okay, it's fine. I'll just go pick it up. But he was like, but you need to tell him to wash it. I was like, Aaron, he already said he's not gonna wash it. Aaron is one of those people he's like, he thinks like, I could just tell somebody to do something and they're just gonna magically make it happen. He was like, he, he gonna wash them clothes. And I was like, I literally can't make him wash the clothes and like a little part of me was mad but I knew like he genuinely was like at a car place or whatever because like when he sent me the location to come pick up the clothes it was like a, a it was a car place so Aaron was gonna go pick it up but then I also wanted to eat steak for dinner and Aaron needed to bring me home dinner so I was like it's gonna take him like an hour and a half to get there from where he is and then like two hours to get come back get my food and bring it back home I mean, the boys are going to be hungry because I didn't do any grocery shopping and I wanted, what I wanted was on Uber Eats and was irrelevant. <laughs> Long story short, I ended up having to Uber my clothes from the guy to my house. Listen, whatever, I'm going to stop ranting now and we're going to blow dry my hair. Like honey when it comes 
to me. Skin is caramel with the cocoa eyes. Even got a big sister by the name Chaka Cha. Brown sugar bay. I guess how often I don't know how to behave. <laughs> So she's about to be on her way to come and do my hair. I know, he just be randomly brushing. But let me show you guys what it looks like, I guess. It's so dark in here because some of the lights don't work and it took us forever to check in. But. Washer dryer. It's like so dark. This is the master bedroom. This is the bathroom. It's so dark in here though. Like some, a lot of the lights don't work. But I got it because I want to take a bath and shower. Don't you take your backpack off there? Second bathroom. I don't even know what that is. Closet, bathroom, shower, boys' room, and then there's a patio. lights in here like what is going on okay boom what are lighting okay i'm in the kids bathroom but i just came in here to talk to you guys because the tv is really loud the kids are watching smurfs i literally wore my freaking phones for five seconds to walk in here because it's like an apartment complex the way the airbnb is set up so you need like a key fob to do everything and then like the elevators you're supposed to be able to go into are like down so you can't get in right there so i had to like walk all over the place and my feet are really swollen and so my phones are like rubbing against my sides of my feet and my heels and now i have this big ugly black blister and i only walked for like five seconds i'm so pissed so i'm putting some vaseline on it but anyways she's on her way to do my hair, I'm probably gonna have to go get her. Yeah, I don't know how long it's gonna take her to do my hair, so that's just the play for now. Damn right we take turns being wrong. I get real accountable when I'm alone. I get real about it all when I'm alone. It's so crazy missing you when I get old. Now Julio made me fool for you. Now I might hit your phone up with that ba ba ba. This is my da da da. All of this love is toxic. All of this love is toxic. All these bitches ain't cousin. No shit. You a damn drug, yeah. Toxic. All the sex on replay. Running back like a DJ. Feel on your face while you eat that. Trying to make a bad bitch behave. I was just waiting for you. I think we see a way for you. Thinking I'm away for you. In that damn dog, who you make me a fool for you. And I might hit your phone up with that ba ba ba. Missing my da da da. Missing that ah ah. And all of this love is toxic. All of this love is toxic. All these bitches ain't hoes. Okay, hair is 
is done, um, I will link her Instagram in the description box if you guys are in Houston. She was super, 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 super sweet. It's like almost 9 o'clock now, so I'm getting ready to go to bed, so I'm going to tie up my hair and take a shower and go to sleep, and then when I wake up in the morning, I'll see you guys at my makeup. <laughs> The water is still running, but I'm gonna try to dispel it that I got. It needs the liquor, it needs the wine, it needs the real alcohol. Because I know alcohol is not good. Good morning. I feel like every time I start a vlog, it's I ain't good morning because it's always morning time. But anyways, it is what like probably 8:30. It's like 8:15. We've all been up, of course, since the crack of the ass, thanks to the kids. But I just got out of the shower. I'm about to get ready, I guess. Because I have to leave. I don't have to leave out of here until like 9 30. Time to get to my apartment at 10. Okay. But yeah, last night we ended up going to sleep like we put on law and order like always and we, <laughs> we went to sleep we did have waffle bus last night for dinner which i think you guys i didn't tell you guys what you guys missed so that's what we had for dinner last night if you don't know what waffle bus is so good or at least it's one of my favorite spots in houston to eat at but um, we always eat it every time we come we had that for dinner last night and then like i got in the bath and i think i talked to y'all for a little bit last night but <clears throat> aaron loved to go to cvs so he could pick me up some band-aids for my my feet like the blisters on my feet are hurting so bad that they're like just like painful during the like night it kept waking me up in my sleep so um i sent him some pictures of what i needed i'm getting like some like dermaplast to like numb them and then some like um jelly band-aids for my heels i don't really have to wear shoes in the shoot which is good but i have to wear shoes to like get to all of my destinations so I should have told him to give me some flip flops so I can have something without a back. <sighs> Dang, I wonder if he's still there. I don't have my Instagram notifications on and he keeps calling me on Instagram. I don't know. Yeah. That side door was open? No, I was driving down, but I was driving up. I was going down and down. I'm like, what? What the fuck is that accident? Um, can you grab, can, if they have like a pair of just like, like beach flip flops, can you grab those for me so I don't have to put my heel in anything? <sighs> First of all, I think I just used Aaron's toothbrush. <laughs> I did. This is his and this is mine, and I forgot to change it out. Oh, it's okay. It's okay. He be he be using my toothbrush all the time and not telling me. Okay. What else? Oh, but now he used all my deodorant. A little stupid freaking frog. Did I shave my armpits? I did not. It's okay. It's okay. I don't care. I shaved my legs this morning, and that was a whole task within itself. So <gasps> proud of me. I moisturized the the bump.
Boy. Are you being hearing me? He just be ignoring the actual shit out of Carter, you need to put your iPad on the charger. I keep trying to tell them to keep their iPads on the charger because they're not going to really be in the pictures today. The pictures tomorrow are more family pictures. And um, just because like the scene and everything, you guys will see when we get there. But they're not keeping them on the charger. They're going to be mad and they're going to be mad. Anyways, I need to pack my bag. I'm going to try. I guess I should lay my edges a little bit. That's the only thing that really got messed up last night my hair but i don't i can't see the back to lay the back so how am i supposed to do that i need to pack a little bag i'm gonna take my vitamins too so i'm gonna put those out i got some shop wipes that i brought because i know somebody's gonna spill something and it's probably gonna be me it's gonna be me or one of the boys and then i also brought my fenty body lava because duh i'm sure that they have i mean i would assume that they have some type of something that makes your skin like shinier or whatever for pictures or maybe she just adds that in and edits but i want you know my body to look glow i don't know why i'm putting it on right now give a little a little shimmer a little shine my belly looks so big today it's bellying Belly is bumping. Okay. I want to make sure I have that. I have some stuff to touch up my eyebrows. My purse has my lip stuff in it. Um, I have brought just like a couple of things just in case like my makeup appointment didn't work out. But I think it's going to be fine. Our Airbnb host is like, do not like any makeup on any of my white towels. I was like, okay. But he also said that they provided like black towels for makeup removal or something, but mm, I'm not seeing it. I'm not seeing it. I need to pack my tape. Well, I'm probably going to do this before I leave because I need to put pasties on and then I need to wear a nude strapless bra and nude underwear is what she said for the shoot. But I think there's also going to be a scene where I might have to take my drawers off. I don't know. I'm like really nervous. I'm like super shy, especially like taking pictures in front of people. And so I'm actually really nervous for this. But <laughs> I'm going to like tape my coochie, if that makes sense. Like I still don't want to be walking around with like just like with my coochie out. So I got some tape that she's supposed to use for like you know, taping your boobs or anything like kinesiology tape. And I think I'm just going to put like a couple strips down there. Is that doing too much? I'll just take it with me just in case I feel uncomfortable. Like, I wouldn't really care, but like I'm in between waxes and I'm not like hair. But you know, it's some hair there. And now I don't want everybody to see my coochie here. You feel me? So, I mean, I'm sure she's, she's seen like the tons of people. That's what she does, but... I just be shy. But I got these little nipple paste keys off the Amazon too. That I need to put on underneath my bra just in case I have to take the bra off for whatever reason. So I'm packing that in my little to-go bag. But I need to get my hair bag to do my edges. Y'all could have seen how I packed. I was gonna film when I was packing, but I had left my camera in the car. And I didn't feel like getting it. But I have these like really cute travel bags on Amazon. And they came in super handy. And my bag is like so organized. I mean it's not right now. Because we've been digging in it. But it, it was before we got here. <sighs> I'm not excited to come home and have to do my hair tonight. Which means I'm probably going to have to stay up late. And then my makeup appointment tomorrow is at 7.30. Uh, but it's like it's nothing I can do. Because I waited till the last minute. <clears throat> Also, this is my new favorite fragrance right now. It's the Gypsy Water. Like, I am starting to become, like, really picky about certain perfumes or scents that I like. Is there a neck in here? Oh, baby, no. You don't have to get no one. What happened? Ew. Yeah, well. <clears throat> Alright, let's see what it do. Okay. 
I'm just gonna try and follow what she had. Although I don't remember for the side hairs. I'm really bad at doing my edges. No well. Hey. Yeah. Okay, so I just talked to the lady that I can find two three. I got the the spray and the band-aid, clear band-aid. Okay. But this the this the like the nearest corn that got is she just said it's just CVS spray. Yeah, that's fine. It's the same thing as the picture that you just showed me, but it don't just say that. Does it? You know yeah, does it have. Like, are there any bigger ones? Mm -hmm. No, that's for like cracked heels, baby. Everything you got is fine. That's all I really need. There's the spray and a band aid. Huh? I said no, all that stuff is just for like cracked feet. All the stuff you got is all I really needed. Yeah, that doesn't have a back on it. For my side, I just want my socks. That's fine, I don't care. Yeah, for my socks. Alright, I'm here. Okay. Oh, it's a graphic. Alright. Alright. I have no idea how she did the back on. I, I kind of, I kind of got the side edges. They look okay. So now we gotta figure out how she did the back. It looks like I can't see it. I'm probably gonna have to have Aaron do it. This is why I need a friend. I need a, I need a girlfriend that I could have brought with me to help me because Lord knows I don't know what the hell I be doing. <laughs> what happened? Come here. What happened? Hey, hey, hey. Uh -huh. See you guys when he gets back. I'm about to get the kids dressed, put their clothes on and stuff. <clears throat> 10 out of 10 would recommend these pajamas from Target though. Super nice. Didn't sleep in them, but I like to like chill or get ready in my pajamas. And these, the material of them, amazing. That was gonna be my favorite. <laughs> here it's raining outside really bad and I didn't know where to go and the uber there was like construction on the road so the uber had to drop me off so hopefully my hair doesn't start to get frizzy but I'm here I'm waiting for her to get here I got here early like 10 minutes ago. So obviously you guys can see we are back at the Airbnb. So let me tell y'all what happened. 
So I think the last time I saw you guys, I was at the makeup artist studio. She ended up being a little bit late. She got stuck behind a train. <clears throat> so that pushed me back. And then I ended up being late to the studio for pictures. Aaron ended up getting lost with the boys on the way there. So we all started kind of late. We still were able to get all the pictures, but I didn't have time to like set up my camera and stuff like that. Like I wanted to, to like kind of show you guys like BTS of the photo shoot because... I got, as soon as I got there, I had to like change outfits and stuff like that. So we just made it home. I'm tired. We're about to figure out what we're going to eat for lunch. I think I'm going to take a nap. I really just want to relax. We were supposed to like go to the mall and a whole bunch of stuff, but I think I'm just going to like stay at the house. Um, and then I need to take down this braid and wash and style my hair. I also don't know how I feel about my makeup, so I'm trying to decide what I'm gonna do for tomorrow. Yeah, I don't know. I've never had makeup on myself before, so I feel like I look so weird. Very much me. Dear. I don't know. I don't know. It's not my vibe. And I think because my ears are out too, like, I don't know. It's just everything I want is probably not on Uber Eats. I'm talking about like Houston food, like eats, like I don't know. Yeah, I'm sure they do. Ooh, Frenchies. Did we have that last time? I don't know time? What that is. Huh? I don't know what that is. It's like the Houston Rudies. So yeah. Pick something to eat. What do you mean? I just <sighs> get Frenchies. Yeah, go to Frenchies. Nope. You see what I'm saying? Huh? Yeah, I know you know. You know. <laughs> I don't know what you want from me. I just want you to pick something that sounds good that I want to eat. I don't want that. What? <laughs> I just I just listed it. I didn't say ooh, I want it. You literally said ooh, Frenchies. Bro, I'm not. I'm tired. <laughs> I don't want to go to sleep. I don't want to do nothing. I don't want to do nothing. I don't want to eat. I do need to nap. Like, yeah, we can't all just smoke blunts and go about our life like you. But you want wings, I'm assuming? What do you want as your side? Do you want french fries? <laughs> do you want french fries, red beans, rice, or greens, or mashed potatoes as your side? Well, we decided on Frenchies for lunch, so that's what we're having. Um, I'm about to take this braid out, which I'm so sad about because it's like, dang, I just paid to get it put in and I gotta take it right out. But this is not the hairstyle that I want to have for tomorrow's place. Um, hopefully I'll have gotten some like, like pictures back or whatever so I can like show you guys what the background is because then like the theme, you guys don't really get to see the theme of what the place looked like as to why I got the braid or I thought the braid would be a cute look or whatever but dang I'm gonna need some scissors to cut this out I want some ice cream okay I took the braid out and I think luckfully luckfully is that a word I don't think I need to wash my hair like, I thought I was going to have to wash it and re straighten it because of the got to be, but I just brushed my hair and it just feels soft. Like, it doesn't feel like there's anything in there. Like, it doesn't feel stiff, if that makes sense. Like, I thought I was going to feel dirty. But it feels good, baby. Okay. But yeah, I'm going to just play around with my clip ins then, I guess. Since that's the look I'm going for tomorrow. If I could figure this out right now, this would be like so much less stressful to have to think about later and then I can kind of just relax. I wish I would have been able to find somebody to style my hair today, but I just did this whole, like this whole photo shoot and everything was literally booked at the last minute. Something's in the air, feel it now. You and me must do something right. We can't get enough. Cute, no? Oh, this is gonna be cute. Simple 
easy, quick way to have my hair long without having to get tape ins or micro links, which is exactly what I was looking for. So I think, except that I put the clip ins wrong in that. Daddy, can you reach my arm? Can you reach mommy's arm? Thank you, Jesus. Amen. It's much, much, much later. This is what the food looks like, though. Since I didn't, I didn't show y'all earlier because my camera died. But we had some leftovers. Oh. Oh. The plan is, I guess, tomorrow. Maybe go get breakfast in the morning since our, we don't have to be to our next shoot until 1 o'clock. And then after the shoot, instead of coming back to the Airbnb for another night, we're just going to drive home. Because it's like an hour closer to home anyways once we drive that way, so. I should just go and pack it up and go home in the morning. Yeah, this is what the pictures look like. Or the little videos that she sent us or took while we were there. This is one. Yeah, I'm feeling like a child now. Everything's all right now. And it's all because of you. You made the flower in me bloom. Used to be afraid of everything. But now there's no more fear. Yeah, I used to let nobody in and hide my face with tears. what the vibe was for today tomorrow is completely different but y'all will see that i don't think that i'm gonna have the final pictures edited and back until after this video goes live anyways so if you guys want to see the final pictures and you just have to follow me on instagram because that's where i'll post them but i don't think they'll be ready till like her turnaround time is like four weeks i think but what's nice is she sends you every single picture that she takes and then you can choose which ones you want her to edit so I like that option. One thing that I really like about this Airbnb is that it's like the bathroom is so spacious. Like I really want a spacious bathroom because our kids are always in our bathroom and I feel like we're always like cramped in there. And this bathroom has like so much like walk room. But okay, I'm gonna try and put my hair in these roller sets or whatever because it's about to be, it's gonna be eight o'clock. I keep like the time change is messing me up but I really need to go to sleep so I can wake up tomorrow at 7 30 get my hair done and then literally be productive for the rest of the day so if i wrote you a symphony just to say how much you mean to me what would you do if i told you you were beautiful would you date me on the regular? Tell me, would you? Well, baby, I've been around the world. But I ain't seen myself another girl like you. This ring here represents my heart. But there's just one thing I need from you. Say, I do. Because I can see us holding hands, walking on the beach, our toes in the sand. I can see us on the countryside, sitting on the grassland side by side. You could be my baby, let me make you my lady. Girl, you amaze me, ain't gotta do nothing crazy. See, all I want you to do is be my love. My love, my love, my love. My love, my love, my love. My love, my love, my love. It's 
have someone to get dressed and get some water, take my vitamins, and then get an Uber to head to my makeup appointment, and we will figure this out. Okay, well, I'm about to go back to sleep because the makeup artist just canceled on me. <laughs> but, um, it's raining. I told you guys, I think, yesterday that it was going to storm or it's been storming since we got here and today is like the worst day you can hear the thunder in the morning um it's supposed to be bad from like seven to like nine o'clock and then it's supposed to like clear out but my appointment was at 7 30 and she was like it's just raining too hard for me to drive so <laughs> i guess we go ahead el natural to our <laughs> We are on the way to Conroe now, which is the location for the makeup artist that works alongside the girl who does the photos. He said that um, he could do my makeup at 11.30, so it's 10 o'clock now. We're going to stop, probably get some breakfast at the drive-thru, and then head there so I can get my makeup done. And then we can do our shoot, and then we'll be headed back home to Dallas. So... I'll probably just pick you guys back up when I start getting my makeup done and when we get to Conroe. It's about a 40 minute drive from here, so we're filling up at the gas station now before we take off. That way we can just start driving straight home after we leave from taking pictures. So we should get home around five o'clock today if we like stop for lunch or whatever, but give or take like five, five, six, which is still a good time to get home, get back settled, get the kids ready for school tomorrow. I really hope this picture yeah. comes out. It's gonna make me so sad. We tried to take a Polaroid all together before we left, but I can see Carson a little bit in Aaron, but. I can see us holding hands, walking on the beach, our toes in the sand. I can see us on the countryside, sitting on the grassland side by side. You can be my We mind. arrived. Makeup is done. We're about to change or and change the kids. Yeah, but we're here, so I'll see you guys later. Okay, we made it back home. Let me show you guys. She sent me the videos before I close out her videos. Anyways, yeah, that's a wrap. That was the photo shoot. Um, we didn't get to do everything we wanted to do in Houston. It was kind of ended up turning to just be like a little business turnaround trip because we came back home. I still have my eye makeup on, but I took the like foundation off and stuff in the car. Um, I will leave the girl's Instagram who did my pictures in the description box if I didn't already say that. Um, and yeah, 31 week bump date. Now we just have to prepare for baby and buy baby stuff and actually get ready for having the baby. So <laughs> if you guys like this video, don't forget to give me a thumbs up, subscribe, stay a while, you might like it here, and I'll see you in the next one.